Good afternoon, and uh, welcome to Purdue. Um, thank you for giving us this opportunity to present. And uh, so, what I'm going to talk about is uh, a very simple device, lateral flow. The charm of lateral flow system is that you know you have a strip, you drop a sample, the sample flows by capillary reaction, it gets caught at a signal generation point, and the signal comes up. Okay, you can just see it visually. That's the charm of lateral flow. It's very simple. And the market for this is about $4 billion. Okay, so it's used in a range of uh, <coughs> diagnostics. And uh, so here the application that we are trying to show is uh, in cervical cancer detection. Cervical cancer is the fourth uh, you know, uh, common cancer among women and seventh overall in all cancers. And uh, most, uh, you know, it's mostly prevalent in uh, the low to middle income countries. And uh, the most uh, common, uh, you know, um, uh, method is, uh, the most common method to detect cervical cancer right now is, uh, is rushing through, uh, is uh, HPV, is human papillomavirus. So basically, it assumes that anybody who has a cervical cancer will have this HPV. And uh, and the, the, the problem with this is that although it is very, very sensitive, the specificity is very high. So, so what we propose is, uh, you know, a, a suite of biomarkers with a highly sensitive lateral flow markers. And uh, so what we're going to show is that, you know, we can increase the sensitivity of the lateral flow device beyond, you know, almost to a single molecule. Okay. And, and also we want to make it very simple, right? And the enhanced limit of detection is about pentagram per ml. So this is how it works. So basically, you know, you drop a sample. And you, the, the standard system, the sample flows, the signal comes, and then you react visually. So what we've done is that the, the problem that is compounding this device is that the efficiency of capture, right? So when you flow, the capture ratio is very, very low. Maybe less than 5% of the target is captured. So that's why the sensitivity is very low. So what we've done is we put a magnet here to slow down the movement of the targets. So we want to capture as many targets as possible here. So that's what we show. So by capturing as many targets as possible, you know, we can uh, increase the limit of detection to femtogram level. So the conventional limit of detection is in the nanogram level or sometimes in the picogram level. So this is possible by visual reading. Right? So that is pr pretty much what it is. So we put the magnet, pull the magnet, and then read. So uh, we've looked at, uh, you know, VCP. Uh, this uh, is one of the biomarkers for uh, cervical cancer. This has about 95% sensitivity and about 94% specificity. We validated all this, and uh, and uh, and we could detect this at uh, at about 25 picogram per ml uh, visually. And uh, we've also done this, uh, you know, this in purified proteins. We've also done the same detection in tissue extracts as well, so we could go up to 16 picogram per ml. And also we've extended this technology to uh, look at uh, you know whole cells of bacteria like E. coli, O. and so on. So that one. We can detect at about 25 CFU per ml. So the conventional electrical <coughs> systems could detect at 10 power 3 to 10 power 4 uh, CFU per ml. So this is about 1,000 to 10,000 microns. And yet the device is very, very simple. So basically, we believe that uh, you know we could take diagnostics, visual diagnostics, to single molecules. That's pretty good. 